Hey guys, in this webio we are back to America and back to roads. Yes, I know I did some rail or rail related transportation system for the last three webios, but now we are back to roads. This is what I think is a quick and easy fix to a very big problem on a major motorway in Massachusetts. This webio will focus on alleviating traffic bottlenecks on Interstate 90, which runs from the western end of Massachusetts all the way to southwestern Boston. So basically what I've done is I've highlighted all the trafficked areas in red. Do you notice something? They're all the areas that lead right to a toll center or toll booth. Why is that? Because this is part of the main Northeast corridor for roads that connects New York City with Boston. And all these people have to rely on this one toll booth to get between the cities. What's more, Massachusetts does not use EasyPass. They use some Citizens Bank Express, express, lane, express lane with the EasyPass used in other states. So, an easy fix is to use all electronic tolling. Basically what this is, is that EasyPass and the Citizens Bank Pass will work the same way, but if you don't have either, you can still go through and it'll, you will be paid based on a camera reading your license plate. This has already been implemented on various areas of New York City and San Francisco, especially the Golden Gate Bridge, and I think it will work very well here too. Now for the structure of this express cashless toll, just make like wide spaced apart lanes with like a gantry above that reads the license plate. The speed limit should be around 45 miles per hour. I don't want every vehicle to slow down to five miles per hour because then it won't really do much at all. So all these red lines where the traffic goes, it'll be gone. And this red line actually goes into Route 90 itself, which means that traffic trying to go west has to wait for traffic going on Route 84 South to get through that toll booth, so it wastes some of their time. The next interchange that this will work is the interchange between Route 495 and Route 90. Now Route 495, basically you either come from the outer areas if you know what I call and you merge here and go 90 west or you go 90 east and then either go 495 north or 495 south. Many people choose to go on 495 north or south and the traffic from this toll booth ex exists all the way back probably like half a mile sometimes. So just making this electronic tolls will help alleviate the problem very easily. And as you can see, these lines extend into Route 495. So it's not that much work. All you need to do is install a gantry. There's no land that is required to build this. In fact, it almost costs almost nothing. And yet it provides a big transportation benefit. It's not the interchanges problem. It's a toll booths problem. Now let's get into the real bottlenecks. This is probably the biggest bottleneck of all. This is a massive interchange between Route 128 and Route 90. If you remember from my first Boston to New York high speed rail video, this is also the location of that new railway station. But let's say that isn't built yet because I do think that electronic tolls are very easy and quick to do when compared to upgrading this line for high speed. The traffic here extends so far back, like this is probably a mile, that leads to the toll booth and many tourists especially have to go through here to get to Boston. Also you have traffic going to Route 128 either north or south that has to use this toll booth 
So the traffic can actually extend back here. I didn't draw it, but it probably extends all the way back, probably like two miles into Western. Now, simply the same thing, just making an electronic gantry will help solve the problem. And all these red lines indicating bottlenecks will go away. And in its place, smooth flowing traffic. Finally, the last place where I believe electronic tolls should be implemented is right here, the end of the turnpike section of Interstate 90. Now here, everybody entering Boston from the western suburbs has to go through this toll interchange. Whether you're going to Cambridge, Kendall, Boston, Somerville, you name it, you have to go through here. And this is especially congested given that there are only 16 lanes in this structure right here. So even a four or five lanes, but all with Easy pass or electronic tolls will be much faster than this. And even some land could be reclaimed back for the environment while doing this because this is a built up area and the Bostonians and Cambridgeians need their parks. This basically, if you're taking a drive from Route 84 all the way to Boston, these improvements alone can probably save. 15 minutes of driving time, especially in the high season. Obviously in the night, it will be a different story, but during the day in the high season, 15 minutes. And that's probably of 150,000 vehicles that use Route 90 every day. And that can all be done from installing a simple electronic toll gantry on top of specific toll booths which will help alleviate this congestion. Not to mention that this will benefit commuters as well, which have to bot, which have to battle the tourists and other outsiders. That's it. Thank you for watching. In the next webio, we will show another place where electronic tolls will be very useful. Goodbye.